Hey guys, welcome to Finale. Um, so as you can see, I've spent quite a bit of time on um, the back of the horse. I've still got quite a, bit, a little bit to do here in the muzzle. So hopefully we will get that done in these next two hours and this final part six of uh, the horse in colour. My first um, equestrian drawing in colour. See if we can get the light in. Right, maybe take that one off. So we don't need it. And it's on my left hand side, so it was causing a shadow. So, yeah, um, we're getting there. We're slowly getting there. Let's see if we can bring this light a bit closer without causing any flare of the light. I don't want you to be able to see a flare of the light you see on the actual horse itself but I also need to be able to see what I'm doing. <laughs> I've had to go over the background with, um, that's better, with um, Karen Dash Black as well to take any shine off because it was quite shiny using that pen so I might actually go over it again when I'm off video with um, a black but as you can see I have got a lot more detailing since the last time we um since the last time I videoed we've got the window cleaners around at the minute obviously I don't have a window cleaner because my husband is a window cleaner so my windows are dirtier than anybody else's <laughs> my husband doesn't like to clean the windows no I cleaned them I'll give him his due he cleaned the front windows last week or two ago so um, yeah anyway um, uh, this lockdown's coming to a close isn't it eventually it's coming it's getting there we're getting there I'm sorry if I snivel I've got a bit of hair fever so um, so right now I'm just going to put some um, I need my teddy bear to sit behind my iPad so it stands it up a little bit. I'm going to just uh, put some detail in here with my carpet mortem after I sharpened it. My carpet mortem just brings some of this detail back into here. So I can see through looking at the video that there's not enough detail here. And I know it's quite dark here. So I'll just use my carpet more some sharpened to um, bring this back in and not so obvious. Bring some lines in onto the orange bit too so that it's not so obvious. There's quite a few down this end. here it's actually quite red down this end quite orangey ready brown doing we coping we've got to cope haven't we I suppose I'm coping I'm doing okay 
my wrist is on the mend so that's a good thing I've actually not got my brace on today I've got my watch on the right hand the two new bracelets tiger and amethyst <laughs> that my husband bought me bless him he could have wrapped them up because it's my birthday soon so he should have really wrapped them up but I nicked them <laughs> put a, a mark in here because there is one there quite purple up to here We had seen people out working again. So lockdown's not finished or anything, but yet the window cleaners are working and my husband's a window cleaner and he's not working because he's like got to take money off people and knock on old people's doors and it's, he could be carrying it and passing it on so he you can't really and I'm like asthmatic so uh, it's not a good idea oh, not proper asthmatic but I do suffer with um, breathing problems so it's not um, we are at risk I am at, at risk category And with the meds I'm on as well, my immune system's virtually zero. <laughs> so if I caught it, I'd have no chance of fighting it off. I'd be dead, <laughs> basically. Yeah, dogs agree. As you can hear, I've got the dogs in with me this morning. So oh, sorry, uh, the date is Tuesday the 5th of May. It's my granddad's birthday today, well, it would have been. They've been about 118 today. <laughs> Have you been still alive? <laughs> wow, what a way, what an age he would have been. <laughs> but he died at 87. We lost him when he was 87. I'm going to use my scalpel to bring out a few of them bits there. It's um, not so dark all the way up there. So I'm going to use my yellow cream paper castell to try and brighten it down a little bit up this area. Hopefully where I just put that scalpel it will pick up on the cream. It's not as dark up there as I was showing it what to be. Blend all that in. Getting a little bit of a heavier hand now as I burnish and blend. Try and burnish and blend it all in. I'm 
bring this into here as well this cream and put some of this cream down here because it's really light and this is a bit we're working on today to hopefully get him finished <laughs> And down all this. I went, I did an under layer of ink tents on this bit yesterday, ready to come into onto today. I thought I'd get this far and then obviously do this YouTube tutorial again it would have took me about eight parts otherwise so i thought i don't want to bore you all so and it's a lot i'm not a proper tutorialist i'm just learning myself how to teach really because um yeah it's just um i'm not a tutorialist of such so to speak so i'll sit up on my chair as i usually do and i'm gonna go over that bit there again with this um cinnamon because it's quite cinnamony under here a big sigh from the dogs. They don't like the fact that I moved and didn't go anywhere. <laughs> I'll put them out in a bit because it's really nice outside. Lovely outside. Probably going to do this in two parts and then put them together. Because I might go and sit in the sun for a little while. Come to enjoy a little bit of sunshine. Bring some of my warm greens here and blend all this out. when it really light on the camera that bit and it's not as light as it's showing it it's weird it is very strange it's not as light as it's showing it on the camera <laughs> Mmm, weird. Can't stay up now. <laughs> oh well, there we go, never mind. Um right. I'm going to take my whole vine for this and use my apricot. In here and blend this with the apricot. Trying my best not to press down. <laughs> a bit further up and it'll stop me from doing it. Mm. 
Who's doing that? Shut Be a nosy bomb. <laughs> There'll come a day where I'll be wishing I'd never shouted, shut up. I'll probably be listening to these videos at the time and thinking, oh, that was back when we had our Alfie and stuff like that. They got videos that you put on YouTube, stay on YouTube forever. So I'll be alive still in like, still be teaching people in like 200 years and stuff. That'd <laughs> be ace. If you're in two, 3,000 or 4,000 or something and watching this now, hello from the 2020s. <laughs> And all that in there. And that's actually like a peachy grey colour up here. I'm going to use my Ash Rose to blend in some of that here. That's my old dyeing set. Only lightly, very lightly. It's quite light on the end. So I'm gonna put some of that down here. Some of this in here as well. Just a tad. Just a little bit. Especially here. like a brown area there. Then I'm gonna get my um I think I might use a little bit of this um what colour is this whole bind cool grey doesn't need sharpening Maybe it does a little bit. To be fair, I don't be lazy, man, they. Trouble is, when you get to the end of a portrait, you can become careless and start thinking, oh, God, I've nearly finished it now and want to start rushing and stuff. That's the worst thing you can do, really, because you don't want to spend so much time on a portrait and then at the end start rushing. If you feel like you're going to do that, I suggest walking away, leave it, put it away into a box for another day or something and then go back to it. 
rather than rushing it because otherwise you, you're just going to waste all that them hours you've spent trying to make it look good you're just going to waste them by rushing if you know what I mean so yeah just putting a, a layer of warm grey put the whole bind down under here Just doing these layers now with a whole line so that I can come in next with my favours and my luminance to over overjoy them, override them a little bit. Take the purpley colour out of that because it's not purple. But I put an underlayer of purple out to make it stand out more. If you know what I mean. You know what, know what I mean. Do you know how a printer, like, say you use a printer and you're only printing black and white, but it, yeah, it uses cyan magenta as well and everything. And you think, why the heck is it using my coloured ink when I'm only printing in black and white? Well, this is the exact why, because different colours underneath black like uh, deep red and per uh, brown and purples mixed together make a richer deeper black so that's why they use them colours to make that black stand out even more I mean this in here is a rich black but I'm putting a navy blue in on a Faber Castell now to make that black stand out even more even though it's not blue there's no blue in it it's black this black will look even blacker and deeper because of the blue that's the only way I can explain it that's um, and that's why your printer uses your other colours as well when you're printing just black. I wondered that for a long time why my printer was doing that. Why are you using that when I'm not printing colour? I'm only printing black and white. You should only be using me bloody um black ink. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to come in with um, a French grey 10% for this bottom jaw and mix down some of this onto this bottom lip in luminance. Lighten them hairs off a little bit as well. They are not as dark as that. Hold it back a bit so I'm not pressing on too hard. Hold my pencil further back so I don't press on too hard. It's one thing that takes some getting used to as well. <laughs> Not pressing down too hard. Need to take the focus off there. How does that go as well on there, doesn't it? So blend that watercolour into the holes of the paper. Take this right round. If you look at my other videos, there's a minute video of uh, Pep snoring. That is the reason why you can hear snoring in the background. I actually did a video of him and put it on YouTube to show why <laughs> you can hear the snoring. 
and where it's coming from and who if you can hear the snoring in the background it is our little pepsol is our little pepsi call almost over for two hours came yesterday <gasps> so i'm so in love with them they're gorgeous <sighs> sue taylor you amaze me with your talents whatever you're doing and looking after all these poor sick animals and bringing in all this money for them and that you are a lovely lady i love you to bits um saving for rescue foundation lily's chihuahua for rescue foundation if anybody wants to put their hand in saving some little chihuahuas then um please feel free i think they also um help other breeds but it's mainly chihuahuas if a breed came in i think i'm sure they wouldn't turn it away so um yeah that does turn around a little bit there so um why have i put three markings there when there's only for two <coughs> that one needs to be coming needs to come out put a bit of this in here luminance I think I'm enjoying drawing this muscle more than I enjoy drawing any of it <laughs> because it's not so hard to do I'm gonna get my cream Faber Castell and bring that down here because it is really light down the side of his mouth what am I gonna call him what should we call him don't know what to call him um, I call him Shelby because we've had a spirit named Shelby come through I might call him Shelby I think that would be appropriate I'm going to name him after you Shelby you can move my crystal if you want to Keep seeing a light capture, light, lightning. Don't know if it's a, a car window the sun shining on it or not. Must be. Bring that up into the air. It's a lot of blending on this one, on this bit. burnt ochre from the luminance range and put that down a little bit here definitely here there and then it's about 
goes off to the side. <coughs> There's another dark bit. Another dark bit there. Make his muzzle as big on the picture as it is on the drawing, and I can get the portions correct. There's no sun shining in, in the morning, it's all at the back. So it's quite easy in here. Back to my burnt ochre luminance. It's quite dark there. Feels like a Friday. I don't know why. It just feels like a Friday. I always had that really sad news about my friend having um, brain cancer and everything. And now it's weird how I dreamt about it. I dreamt about cancer last night, and it was a you know them crying dreams when you wake up crying. It was one of them. It was about this machine. If you sat in it, it took it took the cancer away, but you weren't allowed to see anyone else ever again. You had to go to somewhere else. You had to like you weren't allowed to visit family or friends ever again or anything like that. You had to sort of vanish. <laughs> you weren't allowed to be seen again if you used this machine. So you had the choice of not seeing anybody or living and I uh, remember one person I think it was Neil's dad went on it and it 100% cleared his cancer and I think Neil went on it and it 67% cleared it so it wasn't full but he still had to leave and I was crying because he hadn't told me that he was going to go on the machine he hadn't spoke with me first so I could never see him again. I woke up crying. <laughs> so, but then as soon as I got up, I looked at my phone and my friend had messaged me that one of my other friends has just been diagnosed with brain cancer and has only got a few weeks to live. So, no way, that's really strange. Oh, I dreamt a dream, a dream, a dream of cancer and then I get up to a message of a friend dying of a cancer. <laughs> Crazy. Not a good day today. Not a good day at all. It's the type of dream that lives with you for a while. <laughs> a good while. 
so I've um, I'm gonna put a layer of this over here as well. downwards direction now supposed to be not supposed to be black that Let's see if I can get it out The line in here. Just well. Take this orange around all this where it's yellow. God, next door I started playing music. Come on, turn it up. I not get banned on Facebook, but yeah, I can hear it. <laughs> uh, YouTube, not Facebook. Doop. Then again, YouTube don't allow music either. Unless you pay for it. Right, so I'm gonna mark out this mark here because it's it's got a mark there that's like deep orange it's got a few marks in his nose mm -hmm. there deeper like orange colour so like a bit of like orange in this bit of his nose as well. Not major. But there is. <coughs> See if we can bring this colour over into this grey area. You know it's more of a brown over here. Small circular motions. Mm 
If you'd have told me five years ago that I would have sat here now teaching or trying to teach someone to draw a coloured horse, I would never have believed you. <laughs> Not a chance on this earth would I have believed you. Um, I'm going to use some medium flesh for this ear and just blend this back with this medium flesh because it's quite pink actually around this area. It's quite a nice orangey pinky colour. My next tutorial is graphite. I am drawing a graphite dog. It shouldn't take this long. <laughs> Probably be in about three parts. So if you want to have a nosy at that and a like, maybe that will be ever so grateful as well as this one. Subscribe and then you'll be able to see it when I do it. I'm actually looking forward to getting back to my graphite. It seems to be ages since I did any graphite work. Going over all this with a medium flesh now, blending all that back. Trying to get it all into them holes and fill every hole. Unlike some artists who leave some uh, holes open, I don't, I just don't do it. I just like to have every hole filled. <laughs> Blending this back as well with this pink and maybe put a little dot in here of this pink medium flesh type of castell. Like I say this um, picture is referenced from Pixabay so if you do want to have a go yourself go ahead have, why not have a go you never know. You just never know. Right, okay. So now we need a brown. I'm going to use my Van Dyke as I have used Van Dyke in this quite a few times. It's quite dark under there. And then coming off from his band and down maybe Oh my god, Beth. Little dot there. Coming in down and off his snout. Don't wonder why that is there. Is that? Yeah, it's meant to be there. I'll put a bit of brown over here. Even though it's dark, I mean light. Um, I also forgot to put some yellow again over here. 
Um, this is Naples, I think. No, it's not. It's Olive, Olive Brown. Over his band. I know show up is a girl's name, but and I keep saying he but I've definitely decided to call this horse Shelby. It just seems appropriate to me right now to call this horse Shelby. And I think a certain person in residence would be pleased <laughs> that I've decided to call her Shelby, him, her Shelby. Plus, I think it's a really nice name for a horse. Right, that's coming up to the right colour now. I think there's a tiny little bit of grey. For the French grey, 10% in in the luminance. Tiny bit of grey markings down. Then I'm going to blend that back with cream from Faber Castell. I just love blending luminance with it because still because it's like pushing powder into all pushing powder into holes. <laughs> and it just makes it it's just dead really um, dead relaxing and therapeutic. Pushing powder into holes. Do this little bit here and maybe around here as well. Got light bits to the bottom of the saddle. And I've got to put grey over the top of that, it's like little grey lines sort of thing, but we're going to get this mouth done first. This bottom is, um, right, got little black specks in. So I'm going to sharpen my warm grey V1. This bit here. Then sort of like just dot dots about. in a few little spaces. Into her hairs as well. There's a hair there. 
there, 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 and there. They actually come into the hair as well. There's one, there's around here. on sort of coming around like down then there's a little dot so we'll try and keep them in there and this nose has got dot here quite a bright dot got an inside details pink comes out around the side of the nose blend that in there with this pink with medium flesh from the favour Castell This is just normal cadmium orange from Faber Castell. Blend that in there. Blend all these back on the markings that I put in with this orange because it is quite orange. Orangey red. going to use um, my friend violet grey for around the side of his nose from the luminance range it's quite light down there and then I need my navy blue again for that other nostril 
area and got a lot of it and then I lost it again so it's quite dark in here but then it sort of like comes out dogs are gonna get up in a minute because the next door has come out with their dogs if the dog is here they'll be up bring this blue out and into there fast asleep to here. Thank the Lord. I am not going to use my Cain's grey for this bit. Come back in again and put more dots in with Payne's grey on the bottom lip. I'm not gonna keep oh look poppy i just seen poppy from next door i never get a chance to see her she's so cute she's so cute she reminds me of um, one of my friends claire's dog arara <gasps> so tiny and cute poppy's what made me want pep <laughs> and pep's nothing like because pep's so like Everywhere full lilac chihuahua. My hair's poppies like brown, black, tan sort of colour. But as soon as I saw Pep I never wanted him. And I rescued him as well, so because the bitch that was having her, excuse the French, but the bitch that had her had him was gonna take him to a breeder next that was going to use him for breeding she said to me the, um, the next part of Carl if you don't want him is a breeder that's going to um, use him for breeding because he's a rare chihuahua his colours very rare so that instantly just made me like you not doing that he's having his um, and he only bought <laughs> his balls <laughs> taken away um, sometime this year when we can afford it. It's right at the edge on that. That dart comes out quite a lot. That was like a black have you got a black watercolour ivory black that'll do use some black watercolour from Derwent go up here asking for a portrait I think not working at the minute <laughs> prices have gone up I'm no longer working for pittance my skills have gone up now so no more no more working for Bread money. <laughs> um, that comes down into there. Then there's a dark pit that comes out there. And there, and then there's a very light bit there. That 
comes off I can hear a dog kicking off in the distance. Really kicking off. Pep's just moved out of his spot. Oh dear. What's he up for? What are you doing, Pep? been pushed out it's all there all there that's moved out of his spot not oh, pep oh, he must have been able to hear that dog kicking off from distance Crazy how their ears can yet yeah, they miss the next door neighbour coming <laughs> out. <laughs> Just using the um, warm grey two now to blend all this nose into this bit here. That's on. It was a quick job. I'm in here now with some buff titanium just to make it stay light. This is quite light on this side of his face. And around this jawline here is really light. So pressing down quite hard with that now to keep that light all the way up to the whiskers. Light here as well. Try and blend that out into there though with this. Push it out. And this. Mouth a bit. And then I'm not gonna go come in with um I think I wanna use a little bit of Derwent Intense Silian Yellow for this bit.
and then blend it back a bit again with the um, titanium Sorry about that. <laughs> Bloody men. <laughs> I suppose some artists would um, cut all that out or um, sod it. What difference does it make? A cough or a splutter or whatever. It doesn't have to be perfect, does it? We don't live in a perfect world, so you are going to get the odd mistake here and there so got my life's full of mistakes <laughs> so yeah um my husband shouting did you find the super glue we'll stay there in the video i'm afraid <laughs> perfect editing i cannot be bothered cutting bits out and going around and messing around like that you get what you get with me <laughs> so you will hear it have you found the show Piccolo? <laughs> oh, I told him the other day as well I couldn't find it So I looked everywhere for it and I still can't find it. We bought two brand new super glues and I've put them somewhere and you know when you put them somewhere safe. Oops. My somewhere safe is um <coughs> somewhere you can't find it. <laughs> I'm just using a little bit of burnt sienna now for this um for the shadow of the saddle on his on a is her uh, Shelby's um, just told my husband a car that Shelby and he approved and then told me to try and sell it for a couple of hundred quid I don't think I'd get that much for it. <laughs> you never know. Horse loves horse. People love horses, so you never know. I'm looking forward to getting back to the graphite though. It's always the case when I'm on black, when I'm on colour, I'm looking forward to getting back to colour, and then when I'm on graphite, I'm looking forward to getting back to graphite. <laughs> colour. Oh, what did I say? Did I say that right? When I'm on colour, I'm, right, I'm looking forward to getting back to graphite. When I'm on graphite, I'm looking forward to getting back to colour. Yeah? <laughs> For God's sake, woman. Using a beer of my uh, Albert Dürer warm grey IB watercolour in the not that I'm adding water but just because I wanted to <laughs> just because it was right to I'm gonna try and bring this darkness out into the light. Oh. <laughs> Sounds a bit paranormal. -y. Darken this all hairier up.
bit of lilac, violet grey going in now to blend all that down. them fair bits anyway. And then put some of this in here as well. It's just to make it's just, just a thing of layering, adding, layering, adding, layering, blending, adding, layering, blending. Adding now I've got terracotta because it's quite orange underneath here. Definitely up there. It's dark. Leading down to that muzzle is quite dark actually. So, um, not that dark, but maybe I'll use the copper. Copper seems to be, in the Faber-Castell range, it seems to be so hard a nib. It never seems to break. back out of that because it's lighter in there more of a like orange colour violet underneath here I was sorry I didn't know you was recording. I was with the um back I got off the way. Babe <laughs> Oops, sorry I didn't know you was recording. I did apologise. Just had to pause it quick. <laughs> That's horrible greeny colour here. It's like it. Well, 
all the little dots of horrible green and they like go here sort of like meat hairs and go into there and then they turn to pink dots and hairs like pink hairs here as well somebody's jet washing what time are we on nearly 11 o'clock i'm going to do till 12 and then i'm going to stop for today and go and sit in the sun for a bit I don't know if I'm going to get this finished today, to be fair, I thought I would, but I'm going to use this copper now and those dots. I'll definitely get it finished tomorrow, so it'll all be in the same video, because I'll put it all together and hopefully be upload it. To YouTube, or we might just do part six, part seven, stud it, sod it. Don't know, don't know what to do. <laughs> um, there's a hair that comes off there, and there, and this some hairs that come up around here. off this area we are more dots see I'm starting to feel like I'm rushing it now because I don't want to like, to go into loads of parts but I also don't want to rush it and ruin it so thought this was going to be the final part but I don't think it's going to be the final part now <laughs> right, I need carpet more trim because it's quite I need shortening
this copper's doing a really good job at giving me these hairs, actually. Giving me the fine hair marks. Not making them uniformed. into there with not that but we use this to blend that black out into the actual nose area nose lines and I'm using cold grey IV for this bit don't want any obvious it's quite light in there to lighten this bit up a bit more Yeah, darken that and blend all them together. bring that out there I'm gonna go over that with some carpet mortar and violet as well it a little bit and make it stand out a little bit more than it actually is doing. I'll bring this carpet mortar and boil it just and stipple it in. I 
think I'm going to go and see how warm it is outside. If it's warm enough, well at 12 o'clock, I'll go and see how warm it is outside. If it's warm enough, I want to sit in it for a little while and then I'll come back tomorrow. But hopefully we'll be able to load it all as one. Fingers crossed. I don't know how long a video can be on YouTube. I know I've uploaded two hours, so I know I'm safe at two hours, but I'm scared of going over by two hours. Or what? How many hours can you upload on YouTube? What's the um? Like I'm not a paid subscribe member or anything, so what's the uh? amount you can do put some of this carpet more to many years some little dots Cloudy though, so maybe it's not a sunbathing day. Oh, I don't know. We'll see. that rubber that's not black either jagged It's burnt ochre over the top of there. It's not so. Let me go back to me. One gravy and bring these back out again. In here.
a white speck here it's not coming off as dark as I want it to I'm going to have to use my Posca Muni Posca that in there oh, so I've just uh, done a few um, bits while you wasn't here <laughs> it's because I knew it was going to take me well over the two hour mark if I didn't so I'm just coming in um, putting the final touches down now just blending all these lines down that I've um, put together off camera just these like sort of hidden whiskers just blending them down with this peach colour from my Holbein just to blend them in um, I think I'll use the cream from the gold binds as well to blend this bit. Not brilliant whole binds to be fair, they're not worth the money that you pay for them to be fair. I'm not totally in love with them. Not for layering anyway. As you can probably hear, I've got the dogs in with me today. Um, even though it is beautiful outside, so um, I am going to finish this and go and sit in the sun eventually when I do finish it. <laughs> but I am definitely finishing it today. I've done his bridle, her bridle. Shelby's bridal. <laughs> Some people all know why I've called this, named this horse Shelby. I was that follow my husband and die's paranormal group. Yes, I am into the paranormal. <laughs> quite a lot into the paranormal actually <laughs> um so right I'm gonna put some more um <laughs> This colour, I think, into here and blend it down with the peach. Burn hairs there. So peachy. I'm going to use my Albert Dure watercolour. really hard and I'm burnishing this now so I'm blending all these hairs back I could if I so desired bring a few hairs out to gain with a scalpel at the moment but it's not required because the hairs are all there that should be there so I'm 
the nice Mario Sets new album's out today and I can't find it on Spotify. So, don't know what's going on. Maybe they don't get them when they first come out on Spotify. I definitely can't find it. I'm not on, mad on the Lannis Mary set, but it's uh, one of her songs called Reasons Why I Drink. And um, I think it's about um, addiction and stuff like that, which is like close to my heart. So I'm a very addictive person. <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, um, they need blending out, don't they? Well, they need blending out somewhat. They definitely needed blending out. Keep it light on the edges. Bubbling that brown down. Keep it soft inside. bit here because um, there's quite a lot of like orange down this end like dots it's like orange and then that horrible green dot Sort of thing. <laughs> Can you pep snoring again? Some more. This all coming to a year. <laughs> oh my god, Pep. So loud sometimes. We all enjoyed the play in the garden yesterday. It was lovely. We all went and sat in the garden. I am a little bit red faced now. <laughs> be old before my time but I 
and hopefully we stupid really I suppose when we're just finding out about my friend having cancer and some then I go and sit in the sun and get some burn and yeah it's a bit daft but we do these stupid things don't we always blend all this back this blender Terracotta down here. Mix that with a little medium flesh. Just been told it's time to celebrate my truly extraordinary May birthday. This is an ordinary birthday. Mmm, what was that email all about? Using my apricot now from my Orbines. Just to blend all that in that I just put down. To blend it all back. Again, it's got so many layers on it. It's all layering, 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 layering. <laughs> all in a circular motion. Mostly, apart from your under layers, going in that direction that the fur would be going in. Can't get over how light it is here. Let's don't I hope it doesn't make the, the drawing look off because it's so light there. Because it is real light there, but I don't want it to. I don't want it to look out of place like, and it does. It's like I've not got my contrast in right or something. I need to make it a little bit darker, I think. Blend it in with my ivory from my Faber Castell. Blend all that back in again. Maybe pick up a bit of that brown. Bring 
that peachy as well in there. A little bit of peach in. Bring it out slightly, just blend in. on this edge. It's not as light as it is there. This took me about I'd say 24 hours this. All together. So if you sat there for a full day without sleep, you could do it in a day. <laughs> but I wouldn't suggest that because you probably wouldn't get it right and you would ruin it because you'd be so tired. You'd probably end up falling asleep at your desk. So I would advise breaking it at least into two, 12 hours, or if you can, four or six hours, then that's fine. But with me like doing the videos for YouTube and tutorial in it, I had to do some offline because I didn't want to do too many parts and bore people. And I also just wanted to like fit it all into like a low amount so it's not like, God, oh my God, how many parts to this is that? And make people think that I was just after loads of hours watched when I'm not. I'm just trying to help and teach. That's all I'm basically trying to do. Um, put in some Caran d'Ache uh, Violet Grey down here again, like I did before. Even though it isn't violet grey, it's proper grey, so I'm going to put some proper grey over the top in a minute. I just want to put some of that in there. So then I'm going to get my cold grey IV and come down this side. And then here. to get my baby Castell white and blend all that in. Because it's quite light on this bit here. Oh, I don't want to do this and then I get told the video is too long, you can't upload this to YouTube, blah blah blah. <laughs> Darken this area up and put the detail in because it goes around there and down. Up there. Like that detail coming out of the nose. Bring back this detail coming down. And then obviously this bit here, this bit is darker, 
doing it with the brown because then it'll stand out more make the black underneath richer Stipple this bottom lip again. I'll stipple this quite a few times now and then blend it over the top and then stipple it again and then blend it over the top and just keep stippling it and blending it and stippling it and blending it to make it look like there's holes underneath the holes, underneath the holes, underneath the holes <laughs> sort of thing. around there a bit that goes down there and then that's split into two and then this bit that goes around there as well that bit in there is really dark We're getting there slowly. Bring these details back into this rope. Well, it looks like rope to me, but it's obviously is saddle rein, whatever you call it. But um, it's quite dark under that bit there. Dark coming off there.
this brown in here, it's dark sepia. Him some little fur marks. Need news. Mm. I don't know why, but the name Shiloh just came to me then. What's going on? Why did I just think Shiloh? Maybe the horse is called Shiloh in real life. Wherever, whoever owns him. There. And it's just been told to me. <laughs> oh God. Husband's just come through the back door. I heard him. That means he might shout up in a minute. <laughs> Do you want to move? fine details that make the portrait stand out in the end. There's a really light bit of blue I'm going to use my whole line for this. I'm going to use some forget-me-not, oh forget-me-not blue, my mum's favourite flower. Use a bit of that there. Oh, not my favourite colour now. <laughs> oh, yes, my mum's favourite flower. <clears throat> so, blend that in with my white herb castell. The smallest of smallest of smallest Marco Ruffines <laughs> should really be in a um, pencil holder, but I think it's too small to fit, so I'm just stippling this into the nose area. <sighs> God, it's so hard using a tiny pencil. in this as well very faintly there's like a little mark there and then that comes out husband's just gone out the back door again so he's not gonna shout up I think he's doing what I used to do, printing all sorts of stuff off to draw and then never drawing it, just wasting all the ink. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I used to do. Now I only print. Now I only print something if I'm definitely going to draw it. Because the amount of pictures I've got printed that 
I want to draw so if you print them off and then remember that I want to draw that one I put them in the want to draw folder so I don't lose them and then I can find the picture again on my computer I think he's doing the same as I used to do try and get this right round here now God help <laughs> When you spend so long looking at a, a portrait, you can't help but think it looks poo. Even if it doesn't. Like me now, I'm thinking I've not done a good job of this at all. <laughs> but probably um, for my first equestrian, it's not too bad, I suppose. What do you reckon? Hmm. <laughs> So keen. I don't know, maybe I'm just being cruel to myself again. Get this pale orange and put some of this in here, I think. to blend and to blend over. this up here as well This is a um, Winsor Newton permanent pigment marker and it's like a white so that's what I've used for that for now but I think I need to go over it with Prismacolor as well as when it's dried off a little bit so but I do need my Prismacolor give her a bit of a sharpen don't really like sharpening Prismacolor because they break quite easily I'd have a highlight there and there and here I'm 
待会儿，三，对，对，quite a few highlights in here actually. Though. There's quite a few. Use my grey to darken that up. Blend that black out a bit into the nose area. <coughs> and then put a little bit of a light highlight highlighter there. And there. saying he and it might be a she this horse as well. Bring that down to peg or two. Blending it in. I do like this white prisma colour for blending. It's, it is a lovely blender. Blend them grey bits in now I think. And bring it down. back in with I'm gonna use um bark from my um ink pens for this bit because it's quite these bits are quite dark Next door, his dog would stop barking while I did let it in. All it wants to do is go in, it probably wants to drink of water, it's so warm outside. And I want to go over this again just to darken it up a bit, a little bit more. Obvious.
down to his mouth. <coughs> a fair bit there. And the dots. Detail. Quite a lot across the bottom. Nearly finished it, guys and girls. Put in some to stop it from being so highlighted because it's not massively highlighted that edge oh god Alfie started snoring now that's unusual <laughs> so bring that in there we've got that's easy Of, uh, over all this bit here. Do I to talk over the dog snoring? Because the dog's getting louder and louder and louder and louder. <laughs> Pep, you are getting louder and louder and louder and louder. That does happen, but it does and can leave you with a very sharper edge, a lot sharper edge. 
which it has done this time, so I'm thankful for that happening. <laughs> Just getting some of them dots. And maybe some detail here as well. And here. Red violet of um, ink tents. Put a bit of that in, and then I'm going to blend that out again with a prisma color, and then. Are still there, so I've got to put them in as well. And dots. This is my colourless blender that you get usually with Caran d'Ache, like a pencil crayon, a crayon, but it's no colour to it, it's just, just blends, so I'm just blending all them harsh lines down. So they're not as obvious and it blends into the colour. Pull this out a little bit, the shadow up. Thank you. 
And there we are, she's finished. We were as good as. Oh. I'm going to put some um, Payne's Grey 30% over the top of this bit here. Because it's quite a bit of like silvery black rope and I actually put brown over the top of it all around just to, so it doesn't stand out like a sore thumb if I can make some hair marks with my scalpel only some little fine ones probably won't be able to see this happening you've got to figure out which way it's going <laughs> paper blender with my paper stump just gently blends it in lines out use my white 
current dash to bring out some marks in this rope. Right at the top, right at the bottom. putting some light final details in on this on his rain and there we go he's completed I'm actually gonna miss him I'll give him a spray with some thicker tip now And then he will be done. Let's put a little bit more of this red underneath here.
There we go. Done. <sighs> hmm. He's not bad. I don't think I've done too bad for my first equestrian drawing and I do appreciate you all staying with me. If you have watched all programmes through and I've taught you something, please let me know below. It's so nice to hear when when I've taught somebody something or they've learnt something from me. Um, even if you just say that if you like it, then um, that would be absolutely lovely. Um, yeah just um yeah just give me a like or um subscribe or whatever you know yeah um so thank you for joining me in on this um tutorial it has been a pleasure to share it all with you and i hope you like it thank you for watching guys thanks bye Hi guys, just wanted to put a little bit in the end. Um, I have now um, put the final uh, fixative on him and he is now fully complete. Um, it is looking like it's shiny but it's not shiny there. It's really matte, it's just because the window is um, shining through with the sun so um, obviously when I put my hand there it's just black matte so um, I can't get a proper like thingy of it try to put that in the way <laughs> there we go <laughs> it's a little bit better so there he is completely finished I'm not um, 100% happy with him, but I don't think us artists ever will be fully happy with our work. And there's always, as the saying goes, art is never fully complete. There's always a little bit that needs to be added or something that you need to do better. And I always know what I need to do better from every piece that I do. So hopefully you have learnt you something in this and you can see something in this that I've done wrong and will do right in your piece if you try so <clears throat> um yeah um this bit on the video if I first start looks white and it's not in real life it's like pale yellow with grey on it so um I don't know what it's going to come out like on a YouTube video but um at the looking at the my Mac picture for my C90 camera vision it looks uh, pure white like this bit this is pure white but this isn't and yet they look the same on the camera so um, and it looks pure white here as well but it's not so um, yeah um, I will put um, hopefully a picture if I can add a picture of it fully done I will add a picture of it fully done at the beginning. So yeah, there you go. Thanks guys for watching and thanks for subscribing if you're going to subscribe and like if you like it and keep watching for more. Okay, thanks guys. Love you to bits. Thanks a lot for subscribing. If you are already subscribed, please keep subscribed. I really do appreciate all of your support. You are all amazing um, and brilliant. Yeah, thank you. Wishing you all safe and well through the corona and everything. And um, yeah, thanks a lot. Love Dee Dee. Bye for now.